Hey guys, how you all doing? So, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install the MITM proxy. But before that, just a quick disclaimer that this is a this is only for education purpose. So please mind that. Okay. So what exactly is MITM proxy? Let me first explain you that. Okay. So MITM proxy is basically a tool which can intercept your HTTP traffic, all the web traffic. Including HTTP, HTTPS, WebSocket, or SSLATC. So what you can do it is you can see all the incoming traffic or outgoing traffic into into your computer. So if you are using a if you are if you have Facebook uh, playing in your browser, you can see all the APIs that are going through in, in that are going or coming. Okay. So let's first install the MITM proxy and click on here. And let it install. Uh, yes, it will show that it is it is dangerous. You should not do it or something. So just click on keep. Just click on the three dots and click on keep. And click on see more. And click on keep anyway. Okay. And now open it. Click on next next click on finish ok so this is the terminal version of MITM proxy there are other version as well uh, I will show you uh, I'll tell you later in this so basically what is it is doing it is running on the local host port 8080 ok which you can access it first you have to do is uh, uh, let me go into the docs okay so it defaultly listen on localhost 8080 as I, as I told you so uh, you can check if uh, first you have to in uh, add a HTTP proxy into your machine is that either in your browser or your machine wherever you want to check okay so first I'm going to add a proxy okay here is the proxy setup so I already have this so you just have to add this and add this port and just click on save so what will happen is that now every time you serve the web it will go through this proxy HTTP localhost okay so now let's go to mitm.it so if you are seeing this this means that uh, the proxy is working fine and now you have to install a certificate okay so I'm going to install for Windows and click on open file and click on uh, yes uh, keep it for current user next 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 finish yeah so now you can you will be able to see all the all those traffic see all the traffic so example, if I click on reddit okay you see all all this traffic is coming and going this is the get get traffic and post traffic all, all this thing is going on so uh, since using the terminal is not very easy so what I'm going to do I will cancel this click on yes okay okay just, just close this I'm going to open the web, web version of this MITM proxy okay? so to install to use the command version you have to click on enter and MIT proxy so it will open a command version and if you want to use the web version you can do MITM web okay so it will open an, another port 8081 uh, and you can see all those traffic uh, coming and going so let's see something for example if you like if you really want to check the traffic of reddit what you can do is just click on the options Uh, edit options and here you can allow only reddit.com so it will only show you the reddit traffic okay so just click on that and clear all the traffic so if I like click on refresh you can see all, all the reddit traffic is coming and going see so now you can check any kind of all the APIs of reddit for example let me click on sign up okay so 
as you can see all these uh, api are for a register and generate token uh, let me show you the generate token okay this is an easy api that you got from reddit and now you can use it anywhere so let me open the postman and let me show you that <sighs> Okay, so just uh, I do uh, this a get since it is a get, and now I'm going to send the traffic, and it will uh, return a random username, which is from Reddit. Which is, this is Reddit's official API, and you wouldn't be able to know that if you if you didn't have the MITM proxy. So just like this, there are lots of APIs hidden that you can find out. This is mainly used for bug bounties and API testers. So yeah, this is it. Uh, this is just a quick video. And if you want to learn more about this, you can check the documentation uh, in here. So there are lots of things are here. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on like and subscribe.